Hey guys, so today I want to do a really quick and really simple video on something that I think is really super basic but very important and that is lip contouring. You know, we posted some videos in the past on lip contouring and I always get so many questions on it and I think there's so many ways to do it but I'm going to make it as simple as possible. I am a person who loves to know the rules and break them. I think that's fantastic to do, especially if you figure out like the best way for you to do that. But these are the general rules. A lot of times when we're contouring the mouth, a lot of people don't really realize, but there is like a lot of importance in actually how big your mouth is and you know, how much attention it gets. It really depends on the makeup, your brows and all those things. So for instance, I have really bushy brows. My lips need to be slightly more muted. Otherwise my makeup needs to. I really need this to be super balanced. I can't have it you know, being like too loud and, and too crazy. So I definitely usually go for more of a nude or pinks just because my eye makeup is always like, ah! <laughs> it's always like calling your name. So I'm gonna first grab, this is just a super simple concealer. This is the LA Girl Pro Conceal. I really do like this a lot for contour. I just think it's really easy to blend and it's really pigmented. This is in color um, Dark Cocoa. I also do like Fawn as well. Um, I'm just a little bit more tan, so I'm using a bit of a darker color than I usually do. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look at this area here, and I've noticed that I have a little bit more space here. A lot of people do, and some people love it, some people don't. Personally for me, I actually want to shorten this area here, so I'm just going to add a little bit of contour here. Put it right in the center of my lip. So you can see I'm kind of drawing. I'm almost like repainting this whole area here. And it's really not a very strong line, it's a really light line. I think that it can be very, very sexy once it's blended. And then I'm gonna kind of recreate my Cupid's bow. So this is the Cupid's bow, and I think the Cupid's bow is actually like the biggest area of importance for the lips. So I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of draw a new line here. And although this is, a, this is slightly darker than my skin, um, I'm not putting that much product out, so I'm really squeezing out just the right amount of product. Another area that people like to contour too, especially if they want to make their bottom look look bigger, they can put a little bit of product here. I don't think this is as necessary. I actually like more of this usually as opposed to this, but it depends on your personal preference. And then what I'm going to do is I like to lift the corner. So this thing I actually like to do a lot, I like to lift the corner here. So I like to put a little dark, a little bit of shadowing here. So this is really nice. It does kind of make your mouth look a little wider, so you want to like not put too much product there. If you do have a wider mouth, you could definitely you could add a concealer and make it look more narrow. It's really up to you and what your preference is. A lot of times when I used to do makeup on clients, sometimes if they had a little bit of a like a smaller mouth, which I personally love to do makeup on people who have like small mouths. I think it can be really cute, it can be really pouty. But one thing sometimes they wanted was they wanted a wider mouth. And so sometimes I would just take the lip liner and just draw out a small amount and I would just extend the lip and it would add so much harmony to their face. So now that I went ahead and I have this contour on my lip, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna keep this on. Normally I would blend this in, but I'm gonna keep it there because I want you guys to kind of see the entire outline of the entire contour. I'm going to use a lip liner and this is just my favorite color. It is a little bit darker than my lip. This is Trendsetter from Huda Beauty. There's so many different colors out there that you guys can use. Um, I just, I like wax-based pencils um, just because I feel like they don't dry the lip out as much and they really last for a long, long time. But I do know sometimes people who have um, sometimes drier lips can sometimes struggle with a wax-based pencil. So if you want to use like a mechanical pencil, the Cap on D is a really nice one as well. I just personally always prefer wax-based just because that works really well on my skin type and my, my needs. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to line the whole entire lip. Now, I have had lip fillers in the past. I've stopped for the past, I want to say like nine months to one year. But whenever you get lip fillers, your the shape never goes away. So my contour is super, super strong here. Um, I kind of wish it wasn't as strong, but um, but it is super strong. So it's, if I'm going to be overlining, which I am, I'm going to be really careful of this area right here. I'm not going to be using too many light shades here. I'm going to kind of go over my lip not going over or under, but you can see just adding that liner has made, especially with the contour, has made my entire lip area look bigger. For me personally, I like it to be proportionate. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start to balance everything out. I'm going to add a small line in the center of my lip. And I never start from the bottom, I always start from the top. And what this does is it just kind of gives you that illusion of like a bitten lip. Some people like it, some people don't. I think it's super sexy, so I'm just going to go ahead and do it. And then I'm going to do the same thing on top, and I'm not going down the center on the top. I'm kind of going like one quarter of the way on top and one quarter on the other side. 
and that's it. These li these lines are much lighter than this line. This line is really strong. And then I'm just gonna feel kind of heavily in the corner here. And that's it. So I have a lot of contour going on right now. I'm now gonna take a lighter liquid matte or a liquid lipstick or a lipstick, whatever you have. You can even use a lip balm if you want, like a clear lip balm and just like pout it on and it's really beautiful. That's actually what I do on an everyday basis. I'll do like this contour and then I'll put a lip balm and I'll just like kind of dot it and then I'll use the gloss, um, which I'll show you guys in a minute. And it's literally so pretty, nothing stronger. If you guys want to see an everyday contour, an everyday lip contour, please comment down below. Would love to do that for you guys because um, it is really nice. But I'm going to take Venus. This is our liquid lipstick in Venus. And I'm just kind of focusing the areas um, where I don't have the contour. And I'm just going to let that set for like just a few seconds. And then I'm just going to go ahead and take my fingers and just start to blend it in. And you can use a brush. I like to use the fingers. Okay, I am just going to use a little bit of foundation to kind of blend everything in. This is just our Faux Filter and Toffee. This is the foundation that I wear. And I'm just taking a standard brush. This is from Vera Mona. It's the light shading brush. It's just a simple eyeshadow brush. And I'm just putting a small amount. This is just on the back of my makeup case. And I'm just blending. I don't want that much product. And the reason why I'm using the Faux Filter is because it's more of a powdery foundation. So when I blend it, it's kind of like it won't need any setting. Sometimes I will take um, just a little bit of baking powder and I'll mix it with the foundation and it can give a little bit of a lift in these areas. I'm just going to take a little bit of um, our Easy Bake baking powder and I'm just putting a little bit on my brush, just that much right there, just like literally just coating the brush and then I'm going to mix it with whatever foundation is there and I'm just going to go ahead and just put a small amount in the corner here and this just kind of brightens up the area and makes it look really nice. So I'm going around the contour, not completely on top of the contour. And you can use any loose powder you want. I really love um, Laura Mercier's as well, as well as the one from Too Faced. Um, Maybelline has some great ones as well. So it really depends on what your personal preference is. So now I've completely finished my basic contour. And for the last step, which is super simple, what I love to do, and you can use a highlighter, you can use anything else that you like, and, or a shimmery gloss. What I love to use is, this is Ritzy, the Huda Beauty Lip Strip and Ritzy. It's my favorite in the entire world. And what I do is I just put a small amount in the areas where I've highlighted. So, so every area that I actually put um, the lip strobe or the look amount, I'm putting the lip strobe right here, right here, and then along the center here. And then I'm going to take my finger again and I'm just blending this along the center. And what I love to do afterwards, and this again is optional, you can take a tissue and kiss it and it takes off any of the gloss that's left on from Ritzy, and then it kind of becomes like a liquid lipstick with shimmer that can last all day. And really there's different products that you can use to, to do this. Obviously I've used like all of our products, this is what I use on a daily basis, but you can use whatever brand, whatever you find, doesn't matter how much it costs. Um, you just kind of want to achieve like something that really adds some highlight in some areas, some contour in some areas. And these are just the general rules. I think it's really important to understand there's rules and then you can break them however you want. And you don't need to have your lips be like the ideal perfect, you know, like what is perceived as perfect. You can really do it however you want, but you have to play. The only way you're going to figure out what looks best on you is by playing. So this is one of my favorite ways to contour my lips. This is the most simple, most basic way to do it. And it's, it's great. Anybody can do these, use these rules, some of them, all of them really, you know, do it however you want. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video and let me know down below in the comment section Anything else that you guys want to see for tutorials, super basic things, more complicated things, I want to know everything you guys want to see. Please subscribe, make sure you guys thumbs this video up, <laughs> does that make any sense? Turn your notifications on, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye guys!